Yes, let's hope it's a magnificent seven. The final fixtures of Group A for this week. And what a, a group it has been. When you looked at the names on the list at the start of the week, we knew we'd have fun. We knew that we would have interest, but we weren't quite sure what to expect. What we have seen is a superb standard from one player in particular, and it's not the player who's going to win the group. Very unlikely that Chris Mason will do that now, but that 103.66 average is just produced by far the best performance of the week, and most of the best performances of the week have come from Mace the Ace. Tony O'Shea, though, could go back ahead of him if he gets a victory over his good friend Gary Robson, who first secured back, a, it's Gary a relatively first. rare Keen. win against a silverback when the pair met yesterday. So can he get the job done in this one, or will O'Shea keep himself in contention? Let's find out. 68. Tony O'Shea has kept himself in contention quite well today, hasn't he? He's had two victories, 4-2 over John 14. Walton, and in traditional style, opened the day quite well. And then 4-3 in his second game over Chris Mason. 96. That was the one that just kept him batting on all aspects. Can still win this group. 140. Do need some big victories. Do need that legs column to really bail him through. 60. He's also going to need to see a victory later on in his game over Mark Dudbridge. That's in three games' time. 80. And he's got Wes Newton to play as well, which is in two games' time. So you'd say that Tony O'Shea kind of has this in his own hands still. 60. This Tony has got to play those players at the top. Chris Mason in the last game will be playing against Wes Newton. We've just seen what Chris Mason is capable 81. of. 81. Yeah, it really was the, the tungsten terminator, wasn't he, Chris Mason, in that last match? And One on Wednesday in Group A is Judgment 16. Day. Double Terminator references. Yeah, that's game shot in the first leg. Tony first leg terminated by Tony. Yeah, if you're wondering why we're doing that, we've asked for a... Second leg, it's Tony to throw first. Game on. Asked for a little bit of fun. Viewers to get in touch with... Changing one word in a film to make it into a dark themed film. We don't mind a bit of light hearted entertainment here at the Super Series. Is this so I don't come out with any more jokes 16. today? We've had quite a few from our production gallery. I have to say, I'm not going to um, bore the viewers with those. 100. One on the end, 34. 16. I hope you are all enjoying the flight club here at Moda Super Series. 45. It's uh, a group which we have really seen the good, the bad, and the ugly, isn't it? 100. Sort of every game's gone down that theme, really, hasn't it, as well? We've seen some some quality, some not quality, some middle qualities, some amazing scoring, some poor finishing, 58. some Tony world Uri class finishing. 56. Sort of took every single ingredient that you can have in darts chucked it all into this bowl 81. and just mixed it up for you. Tony O'Shea might be on an incredible run here. 75. 75 points away from doubling his lead. He beat John Walton earlier today. He beat Chris Mason in his last match. He wants double 12. Yeah, he that's gets game double 12. He leads 2-0. This is 
Maybe unexpected. Although not by me, just saying Bird that in the chat on YouTube first first earlier today, I said to Abby that Tony O'Shea is more than capable of four or five victories. Just reminding Abby of that before the next link. 80. Things are going wrong for Robson, therefore right for O'Shea. Ninety-six. I think my favourite ever of those film references is one that has been utilised a few times when watching Martin Schindler. One on the end, thirty-seven. He, uh, maybe plants one outside a double, and it's Schindler's missed. Eighty-three. Oh, Schindler, someone else who's appeared in The Simpsons. Yeah, absolutely. Like uh, our. Super Series referee Owen Binks. One on the M40. Yeah, interesting chat with the referee Marco on that YouTube show 10 minutes before play got underway at the Moda Super Series. Do, if you get a chance, rewind and have a look at that. You might see if our social media team will clip up the interview. I always find it interesting getting the thoughts of people with different jobs in the game. It's usually just the players 29. you hear from, but there is... Many different aspects in making darts work, and the referee is a, a key cog in the darting machine. I would go as far to say that the referees, 68. unlike commentators, are indispensable. Seventy-five. It's a job that's so easy to make a mistake, but we very, very rarely see. Fifty nine, Gary, you require forty. A few mistakes from O'Shea yeah, in this leg. No mistake at all from line. Gary Robson Gary in pinning Robson. tops. Ford like it's Tony to throw first. Game on. One on the M forty. Eighty-five. Good standard here from both, really. Gary Robson just under the ninety. Tony O'Shea running around about the ninety-four. Forty-five. Yeah, we saw in the start of the day players seeming to play under some kind of darting duress, but maybe the shackles are off now that the group One is the a little bit more settled. Though Tony O'Shea still does harbour outside chances if he wins this match. He goes on to 16 points. That's two behind Newton and Dubbridge. With both of them still to play. Antonio Shea still has an outside chance because he does have it in his own hands in his game. He has Wes Newton on the horizon. He also has Mark Dudbridge on the horizon. One on the M40. Has to get rid of Gary Robson first. Saved himself 95 to do so. Don't hit a 180 here, Gary. Well, this is Tony maybe now becoming 95. an important exchange suddenly. 95. Yeah, that's game short and the fourth. Very line. important Tony shot. O'Shea. You can see the reaction. Gives him a little hit on the hand. He's hitting the double eight. That is the. Important shot there. He Fifth takes flag, a 3 1 lead. He's one Game leg on. away from making this very interesting the midpoint of the day. Is he making his gallop towards the finish from a couple of one fences out here? Tony O'Shea have been just nestled into the pack for the rest of the race. One on the end, very 23. Well thrown darts. Six very well thrown darts if you include the Gary Robson. Make that seven. A right smile from One Tony. He probably knew what the expression on Gary's face would be, despite looking at the back of his head. Sixty. Well, 
by the leg here from Robson with the throw. 180, 140. 83. 83. him 98 after nine. He has gave us a couple of 12 dart legs already. 100. Gary Uricor, 98. You take this out in two, it will be his best of the week. Could match it. 58. Well, he tees up tops after a dozen. Tony O'Shea will have the darts to try and seal the deal in the next game. Might be knocking on the door in this leg. He is. Gary, you require 40. Yeah, that's game short in the fifth Robson leg. Up in 13. Very good leg of darts from Gary Robson. Very good game of darts from both. Six legs, seven for Gary Robson with the one eighty in the column as well. Ninety five point three eight for Tony O'Shea. Double zone. Not a single dart missed so far. Gary Robson two from two. Tony O'Shea three from three. That continues. Just a a race, really, isn't it? In the scoring phase. Mm, absolutely. Really good stuff, including that 95 checkout from Tony O'Shea. 85. Yet to a max yet in the match, Tony, but by far outperforming his best display this week. 100. 140. Tony O'Shea hasn't managed many of these big hitting legs it's been more of a a straight line rather than a wavy one when it comes to the one on the top end 14 data he managed his best on monday and tuesday he did it twice you'd expect tony to have registered a visit 19. or a leg in four visits or less by now you may not need it here 92 Required to seal the deal against Gary Robson. We haven't seen Tony a Uricon, single dart missed a double in the entirety of this encounter. And Tony has two Game. and only needs Short. one. It's flawless match, finishing Tony from the O'Shea. pair of them. Tony O'Shea, four out of four. Gary Robson, two out of two. Tony takes the tie and takes a step closer to the top two in Group A. There you see, well... Nobody has got near Chris Mason in terms of standard until this match, really. Both players averaging more than 97. A big part of that down to the flawless finishing in the game. But O'Shea is still in contention to top the group at the end of the day. He still has the top two to play, Wes Newton and Mark Dubridge. Dubridge in action next against the basement boy, John Walton.